Hi everyone, my name is uh, Jesus Robles. I specialize on database technologies. And in this short video, I'll be talking about materialized views on JSON collection tables. Before I jump into the topic, just a reminder that Oracle Database 23 AI is the long-term release of the Oracle database. It comes with more than 300 new features and thousands of enhancements to increase database productivity and simplify application development. Materialized views are objects in the Oracle database that can be used to improve the performance of SQL queries involving summaries, aggregations, and analytical functions over large amount of data. Materialized views can be defined on JSON collection tables or relational table with JSON columns. The performance for materialized views on JSON tables is improved in Oracle Database 23 AI with enhancements to uh, fast refresh operations and better query rewrite support. And you can take advantage of Oracle materialized views in application using uh, JSON data, especially in data warehouse environments to get better performance and less resource utilization. I will be using the following JSON document, which represents a purchase order to illustrate the use of materialized views. And this document has top level field names with scalar values, arrays, and objects. Line items is an array with three elements, item number, part, and quantity. And part is an object with three elements, description, unit, unit price, and UPC code. So the idea is to allow the application to run uh, summaries on the line, it line items using SQL statements in the most performant way. And for doing that, I'm going to define a JSON collection table to store the JSON documents, then a JSON collection view to create a virtual table to uh, basically flatten the purchase order and have access to the elements in the line items. And after that, to improve query performance, I will create a materialized view. So first, we are going to create an external table that can read JSON documents for a, from a JSON file. And this statement creates an external table. And please note that the table organization is external. The type of the external table is Oracle Big Data. Access parameters must be set to JSON docs. And the directory object or the entry dir points to the location of the JSON file, purchase order.json. And this file contains 10,000 JSON documents. And this statement, statement creates a JSON collection table purchase order. A JSON collection table is a special table that provides a JSON documents in a single column named data. Each document in a collection table has a document identifier field. So when you insert a document into a collection table, an underscore ID field is added automatically with a unique value for the collection. Different collection tables can have documents with the same underscore ID uh, values. So next, I will define a JSON collection view to create a virtual table. The view definition includes the JSON table function to create a view of uh, JSON data by mapping parts of a purchase order document into the rows and columns of a new virtual table. The columns uh, close to define the columns of the virtual table. And the nested path close, it iterates over arrays of elements, in this case, over line items, and can include other nested path operations, such as part in this example. So the view we just created is a virtual table over the JSON collection table. And you can run queries using regular SQL statements as you see on the example. In this particular case, uh, we are using a JSON table with 10,000 documents. But if we had a table with millions or billions of rows, you would like to create materialized views to improve query performance. And that is exactly what I'm going to do next. This statement creates a JSON materialized view. In order for the automatic query rewrite, 
to happen, it's necessary to include the following conditions in the materialized view definition. Refresh fast on a statement, use only one virtual table, the JSON defined by JSON table, with primary key or, or with row ID if there's no primary key in the definition, and the columns in the virtual table must use error on error for the query rewrite to happen. Then SQL queries matching the virtual columns are automatically rewritten against the materialized view. In, the, in this example, <clears throat> the SQL query includes the columns PO number, UPC code, and quantity, which are present in the materialized view definition. To verify that the materialized view is being used by the query, you can search for the string mat underscore view access full in the plan output table. And further optimization is possible by creating indexes on the materialized view. So let me summarize the steps that I have followed. I have created an external table to read to the JSON documents stored on an external file. I have inserted JSON documents into a JSON collection table by the name of purchase orders. I have created a JSON collection view using the JSON table to create a virtual table. And uh, finally, I have created a JSON materialized view to optimize query performance with automatic query rewrite. Also for the optimization is possible by creating, creating indexes on materialized views. Well, I, found, I, I hope you have found this video interesting and please stay tuned for more. Bye.